Hey, what up, man? It's your boy, The Dude. It's Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. I hope you're having... I hope you're not really checking this out till at least early afternoon. I hope your ass is sleeping in because it's Sunday, man. Um, hey, if you got up and went to church today, you still got time to take a nap? I just get up early. That's just what I do. Not really waking and baking this morning, hitting the old herby herb, the... LA Wedding Pop. Review is online now, but hey, enough of that. Let's get into business. Let's get down to brass tacks. Let's cut the fat, so to speak, and let's get to the point. After one brief second. Man, the LA Wedding Pop, check it out. Ooh, it's really good. Really good. All right, so I was thinking about, you know, like I usually do, I try to think about what I'm going to talk about for the day. Um, today, I don't know, man. I just kind of, I usually just roll with it till it comes to me, and I'll take some notes. I didn't even take notes today. Uh, what came to mind was abusive relationships. Abusive relationships, man, and you need to get the fuck out of that shit if you're in it. And um, it doesn't necessarily mean a violent, physical, violent physically violent relationship either uh, sorry I had to medicate quickly for one second abusive relationships do not necessarily involve violent situations physically they could be emotional mental uh all kinds of abuse in relationships, man. And get your ass away from that shit, dude or dudette, whoever, man. I mean, it goes both ways, man. I've seen I've seen guys treat girls like absolute shit. Man, uh, thankfully, I haven't been exposed to a whole lot of, like, physical violence in my life as far as, like, seeing it happen around me or... I definitely not take part of it. I don't, I don't do that shit. Uh, so I've been lucky in that aspect I've seen a lot of emotional abuse a lot of mental abuse that kind of thing and that's just within my little circle of loved ones and people I care about or cared about at one time and no longer give a fuck about so don't get, get it twisted um, yeah it's not worth it man it's um if somebody if somebody has to make you feel like a total piece of shit <laughs> in order for them uh, to feel adequate in some way because they got a little dick, I don't know what the problem is, or a small mind, man, you don't need that shit in your life. It's it's making you, it's turning you into a, a zombie, dude. Like, that shit, it, it wears you out. It eats you alive, especially if you're an empath kind of person. I don't get into labels, but if you feel everyone else's emotions around you on top of that, Man, that's going to kill you, man. I mean, mentally and physically. And here I am trying not to say man a million times. Fuck. I mean, it's just... And sometimes you don't see you don't see the signs. Sometimes you think, oh, man, this person has some emotional issues. Maybe I can help them out. You know, maybe I can help them be a happier person, be a better person. And then we get back to this whole thing of you can't help somebody that doesn't want help. Man, and, and on top of that, some people are just oblivious to the fact that they're a fucking asshole or they're a piece of shit or that they just um, are toxic. I know people that have gone their entire lives, entire lives, I don't even know how old they are now, I would say at least mid-40s or older, okay, that not once have ever admitted a mistake not once have ever admitted a fault, not once have ever admitted a failure. Come on now, man, nobody's perfect, except for the good Lord upstairs. You heard what I'm saying, or whatever higher power you believe in. However, man, nobody's perfect, man. Nobody, <sighs> nobody's perfect. And, um, and these relationships, man, these abusive relationships, they will, they'll, they'll wear you down to nothing. You know, you think you're going to save somebody, you're going to help somebody, but you, you can't help somebody that doesn't want to be helped. 
and people go their whole lives oblivious to the fact that, that they do need help. I mean, I'm not talking about minor shit. I'm talking about like, like I'm just going to give examples. Hey, if your ass don't like me talking about your ass, you shouldn't have acted your ass up. That's all I'm going to say. If I say something in my vlogs, my morning booyahs, hey man, if you were a part of that at one time, I ain't going to mention no names. And if it hurts to hear it, it should because maybe you were meant to hear it at this point. Damn, dude, getting bitter about shit. What's up, dude? No, nah, man, I'm just saying. Any of the haters out there that is listening to my shit right now that has something to say, once again, you already had a chance to say it. If you haven't said it, fuck off. Call me if you have a problem. If you don't have my number, then it's really not a problem because you don't know me that well to have my number. Bitch is bitch. And when you can do that, man, when you can cut those abusive ties emotionally, mentally, and physically. Now, physically, man, nobody should ever lay a hand on anyone else out of anger. And it's been done to me, man, by a female. And I'm not going to say who. You know who your ass is. But did I hit her ass back? No. Did I want to dunk her in the fucking toilet? Yes. But did I? No. That's not how it is, man. That's not how you handle shit. Damn. And it's funny, man, most of the abusers in life are the ones that go around acting like the victims. They're the ones going around acting like everybody else is doing shit to them. Society is fucking them around and over, and it's not. They're fucked up in the head, and they're just trying to rationalize and justify their own weak points or weaknesses or just all around being fucked up points, man. It's crazy, man. Here I go saying this man shit again. Fuck. I need to stop that. But, uh, yeah, abusive relationships are not good. Um, and, you know, you can tell people about this and you can try to help them. And unfortunately, we're all going to live and learn. 99% um, of people, you try to, hey, and, and same here, I had to live and learn, but... Sometimes you tell people things and you know it's good advice and you know it's going to help them, but sometimes people just want to do their own thing and that's when you have to let them. And being a parent, being somebody in a relationship that cares about someone, man, it's hard. It's hard to let somebody learn the hard way. I had to learn things the hard way and I, I wish that I wouldn't have, but I mean, in some ways I'm better for it, in some ways I'm damaged. I don't want anybody to be damaged from learning a lesson. Sometimes it's necessary. And I hate that. It, it sucks, especially having kids. Um, and whatever a fucking kid or anybody else is going to say, man, you never stop loving your kids. Never. I mean, you never, you know this. I don't need to go into details, but it's hard seeing people go through shit. You know, it's like. You see people in a relationship and, and you know and you know that it's not good for them and you know but they're a fucking adult and you can be there and give advice and say look I'm here for you call me send me the voicemail 17,000 times I'm gonna keep trying to call you you little stupid ass till you answer but sometimes you have to let them learn and that's the hardest thing and uh, fuck it sucks now, if we're talking about where they could do themselves bodily harm, physical harm, possibly like suicidal or, you know, violent to themselves, obviously, man, get help. Get someone help in this situation. Let's 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 iron let's let's work out the details later. Let's wrinkle out all the bullshit later. But first let's get people help if they need it. Let's not get it twisted, you know. If somebody out there needs help, by all means. As a friend, if you see the signs or any kind of red flags, reach out to your friends, help them. I mean, don't call the fucking cops to their house till you know what the fuck is going on because you don't want to stir some shit up. But hey, reach out, you know, at least start at that point. Just don't be like, hey, such and such won't answer his phone. Do a wellness check on that motherfucker, man. I know he's growing some weed, but that's all right. I know y'all ain't going to bust him this time. No, they will bust your ass. <laughs> you will get busted. 
you might be like get a hug or some shit you know when the cops show up to intervene but let me just tell you don't call the cops on people unless you really absolutely have to you don't want to fucking make that shit worse for anybody you know what I'm saying but you also want to help people so get off your lazy ass and go knock on that door or pick up the phone and call them and check on them man don't be a little little lazy sorry whatever and say I did my part I called the popo it's off my fucking conscience no it's not you just made it worse <laughs> think about it and I'm not talking about even doing illegal shit. Cops look for shit to fuck with sometimes, and sometimes they don't. There's a lot of cool law enforcement out there. A lot of good, got a lot of good people. Hey, but just like, not just cops. There's get bad people and good people. It's on both sides. Just had to explain that, because I'm not anti-police. I'm all about the police. But I'm also about my rights. Better call James. You heard me? It's all good, man. It's all good. But you got to get out of those abusive relationships. Man, it's... Uh... Now, personally, I see you beating on somebody's ass, like, out in public. Especially if you're a guy. Yeah, I'm going to intervene. I'm going to do something. I'm going to reach out and touch someone if I have to. Now, if it's a female, it's a, it's a different... It's a whole different world. You know, when a... Should, don't ever hit anybody out of anger and if somebody hits you by all means you should have the right to hit them back within reason <laughs> if some little four foot tall little little angry little redheaded bitch punches you in the face man let that shit go bro don't be going angry whack-a-mole on her ass man god damn bro twice her fucking size and shit you know this ain't the renaissance festival y'all y'all's ass ain't out there working the vendor booth trying to sell merch She's dressed up like a fucking hobbit. You're dressed up like a fucking executioner or whatever the fuck y'all is into, man. Don't be beating on her ass, man, because she knocked you the fuck out, bro. There's some angry short people in the world. We'll talk about that later. What I'm talking about is abuse. Well, that would be abuse if she clocked your ass, but man, that's not the answer. In that, in that situation, violence is not the answer. Just walk away from that shit. There is no good solution to that. Just walk away. Don't even tell your mom or dad. Just walk away. That person is not worth it. But I'm also going to throw this little disclaimer in there. If you don't listen, if you're hard-headed, if you think you know everything, if you think you have all the answers, whether you're 16 or 60... And you don't want to listen to anybody's advice. You don't want to take anybody's advice. Good luck to you, my friend. I hope it works out. Sometimes people are trying to help you. Sometimes people are trying to nag the fuck out your ass. And I understand. However, if you do take the path of, I'm going to do the fuck what I want to do, just remember, it's on you, my friend. And even if you don't, even if you know you accept people's help, it's still on you. Because at the end of the day, you can only help yourself. You can only fix yourself. People can help you and give you the tools and the materials, but it's up to you at the end, my friend. You know, don't reach out and punch the foot. Reach out and hug somebody, man. Spread that love. But if you're in an abusive relationship, I've known people that were in abusive relationships, like mentally abusive, just because of fucking money, man. More than one person. Like, people I was chilling and kicking it with, and they're like, hey, man, I hate this motherfucker. I want to kill his ass. But, and I'm like, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. I don't need to hear all that shit, all right? You don't like the guy. All right, let's go from there. How about, hey, man, none of that shit. I, you know, hey, I don't want to end up in court as a witness someday. Fuck that. But, you know, you be kicking it with and they're like, oh, I hate this motherfucker and, and he's an asshole and he treats me like shit and he mentally abuses me and blah, 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 blah. But it's a joint bank account and if I leave his ass, well, financially, I'm fucked. Well, you made that choice and I don't give a fuck what you based it on, if you base it on bills, property, whatever you materialistically own, that's your, that's your mistake, first of all. Second of all, that's your choice. Well, actually, first of all, it's your choice. Second of all, it's your mistake. 
there is no amount of money that's worth your mental health or your life. So some people are hard headed. They're like, oh, there's no way out. Whatever, dude. At that point, I feel for you and I'm here for you and I'll help you any way I can. But at that point, hey, you done basically just, just said, hey, I'll take money over happiness anytime. And when you make that decision, that's on you, bro. God bless you and God be with you and God speed. But that, at that point, it's on you. Oh, well, and, and like I knew this girl I went to high school with. Great, man, amazing person, man. This girl, man, is great. She would be like, I would have married this girl if I would have known this shit about her ass. And But hey, man, fuck all that. It's too late now. The kid done got grandkids and shit. But, grandkid, I think. However, uh, same thing, you know, a few years ago talking to this person, they're telling me, oh, yeah, I hate this motherfucker. God, you're a cool dude, dude. Yeah, I would love to catch your ass under the mistletoe and shit like that, but... I ain't leaving this this rich mofo. He owns the family business. He pays the bills. I don't have shit. Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't have shit either. I've been broke most of my life, but I survive. I'm resourceful. The dude has been told he's very resourceful. But, hey, in that situation, God, I hate it for you, man. I'm glad that you fucking have all the money you ever wanted. But I hate that you're not ever going to be happy, ever. So you're going to have to decide what you want in that situation. My advice, get the fuck out of any kind of abusive situation, mentally or fi especially physically. Don't fucking play with any of it. But I'm going to get the fuck on out of here, man. It's Sunday morning, second day of fall. It was so beautiful. Yesterday was all day beautiful. Um, I took a nice long walk yesterday morning and stayed inside all day because I just don't really have a social life right now. I don't really have any friends. Working on that friend network. But man, all day I would look outside. It was nice and, and beautiful and not hot. And I'm sure today's gonna be like that. So, and I'm in, I'm in Florida. So man, wherever the fuck y'all is at on the East Coast, West Coast, up North, I'm sure it's nice and cool up there. Enjoy your day. Man, love the people you love. Don't be a motherfucking asshole. Never be an asshole. It's not worth it. Hey, it's cooling down, but that don't mean you can't stay hydrated. This is the dude running a little long-winded. I didn't think I would because I ran out of weed, but fuck, I guess I did did anyway. So shit, man, I love you. And I'll see you here tomorrow, and I'm out.